Okay, oh, a bit too high on that camera. I'm coming at the end of it. Anyway, whatever. You just have to see my head cropped off, or maybe I'll slouch down. You see that weird pillow thing behind me? If that's a bit disturbing, unlucky. So, in this video, we are going to look at system monitoring. Now, I said before that on this channel, we do not have status bars, we do not have any of that junk, so we're using a system monitor called HTOP and we're going to configure it in a way that means we can just get all the information we need and we can do some other things. HTOP is generally used I think by system administrators for killing processes really, or making processes nice and that and less nice, which just means they run faster or not as fast depending on the system resources. Now in the desktop space it's usually used just to show off what's running on the system for pictures on the internet. We don't care about that. What we care about is having the information we need when we need it, not having just some status monitor bar thing that's like a just annoying distraction. Uh, that's how I see it anyway. So anyway, I'm not going to carry on talking about this. Let's just show you. So right, let's go into the graphical environment. This also works in the TTY as well. Teletype terminal. And uh, so first thing we want to do is we want to make sure our system packages are up to date. So as you know the drill, sudo pacman-syu. Hopefully it's up to date. Oh, look, one little thing, okay, install that. All right, now it's up to date. Do sudo pacman dash s hdoc. I don't think I've got it installed on this virtual machine. No, it's not installed. So, yeah, assuming you're using Arch, whatever package manager you're using, just do what you need to. Okay, let's clear the screen. And just to tell you, we have lots of options. Oh, wrong button. So this is uh, the Arch Wiki. You've got all these different monitors. Honestly, just use HTOP. I don't know. People love using this stuff. Oh, just, just use HTOP. It just, I don't know. Whatever you use, whatever you want to use. But so, and then all you do, type in HTOP. There you go, that's HTOP, and you've got some system monitor information, but we're going to customise this, so you do not need a system tray monitor or system tray, I don't care what anybody says, this is how we do it in this channel, so, so first of all, just we're going to hit F2, and um, to be honest, this is just preference stuff, do you need the tree view of your different processes, maybe you do? Maybe you do, I don't know. Most of the stuff I'm not going to change because it, this, this display options are generally fine. Generally fine. Well, actually, no. CPU temperatures, I would say, is a good idea. So, on display options, put show CPU temperature. I don't know if it will work in the virtual machine, but it should work for you because obviously I'm running a virtual machine, whatever, I don't know, who cares. Uh, if you go down to header layout, don't worry about header layout, uh, unless you want like 10 columns, but two columns for me is fine. Okay, and then we're going over to meters. So this is really where we want. And the other thing I would say before that, depends how you find looking at this. If you're finding the colors problematic, you can change it to monochrome, black and white, light terminal, MC, God, black knight, mm, I guess that's the cool, what the cool kids would have it, because it's like hacker, random stuff, you want to pretend you're a Mr. Robot, so it's stupid like that, or broken grey, I guess that's alright, I'm just going to leave it default, which I think is broken grey. Um, Anyway, so we want to go back to meters and let's start with column one. So what do I want column one? So we've already got some CPUs. I've only got two CPUs here for the virtual machine, so that's all it's shown. 
And so what I'm going to do, well, let's just have the all CPUs, is it? Is that average yet? Oh, I don't know. Let's scroll down, scroll down. There isn't too, too many things here. CPU average. Okay. Now, that highlights it already in column two, but you can move it. It's Where it's in yellow, it means you can move it. Look at the bottom. You can see the whatever. And you can do different styles. I mean... I'm just going to have it consistent, that little bar there, that's fine, but you can have it however you want, knock yourself out. Okay, and then once that is ready, hit enter and that locks that, so that's locked now. So you get the idea, what else do we want? Well, we might move some things around here, but why not start from the bottom? So system D user state, now I'm not sure this is really needed, but if you're running lots of system D processes, some of them might break. So let's add that in. We can add that at the bottom of number one. Column one. I'm going to get rid of the swap bar because swap is stupid. Okay, I know some people like swap, but I really don't care about it. Um, even on this older computer, I don't. I don't know. I just. If you do it my way, you don't need swap. That's all I'm going to say. So we're deleting swap. Deleted. Gone. So we've just got the memory there. Obviously going to leave the memory bar. Look at that, 154 megabytes and I'm running a virtual machine. Can you believe that? Magic. Um, what else do we want? Uh, network I.O. Now I think, I think that is, yeah. So network I.O. is going to tell you you've got internet. So why do you need that in your system bar or your system tray? You don't. This will tell you. If you need to go into your network manager, if you've got network manager, which is the one you should have, you just put network manager or what is it, NMTUI if you want the kind of terminal graphical one, or you can just NMCLI. Anyway, just look at my older videos, you can see that, whatever. So, where are we going to lock this? Uh, I'll just lock this here. Some people want uptime in left in there, I don't know, load average. So yeah, your load average is like how many CPUs, uh, so if it's one, it's like one CPU is full of CPU processes, two and whatever, and then it's like one or two minute, I don't know, it's like three columns, the first column's like a minute over the last 20 seconds or so, and the next one's over the last, oh, I don't know, who cares, it really, I mean, just look at your CPU average. ZRAM, I mean, again, are you going to have all this stuff? I don't know. I don't know. I don't need all this stuff. I just need what I need. Host name, do you need your host name? Maybe. We'll just type in whatever it is, host name. Battery, now battery, again, that's probably going to be a good one. Obviously, I'm on a virtual machine. Maybe it won't show battery. Put that in there. Uptime, we've got uptime. Task counter, no, no, no. System. So there you go. You can see what system you're running. So it gives you the kernel number. And obviously I'm on Arch Linux, so that just tells me on Arch Linux might be useful. Combined memory swap, no, no, we don't want any of that. Uh, date, so there you go. Why do you need a clock? You don't. You just need that. And then again, you can have it however you want it. You don't need, you don't need whatever. So date, and then, yeah, you go, you've got a clock as well. Perfect. Um, I don't think we need anything else. That is everything, I think. So let's move some things around. So, I mean, maybe you should have tasks with like system memory average. So again, if you go to column two, you hit enter, we can move that down. Uh, yeah, we'll just move that there. Load average, we'll move that there. There we go, that looks appropriate. And then up time, I mean, again, do you need half this stuff? Do we need up time? Well, uh, yeah, I mean, just leave it on there. There you go, so you've got your network there, you've got your battery. I am on a laptop, as you can see, if you can see this laptop. But obviously I'm whatever, so on a virtual machine. Um, let's move that down. Oh, look at that. Ah. Uh, doesn't get much better than that. Maybe we want the date and the clock up top. Does that look better? Uptime then, then network. Mm, 
I don't know, it's completely up to you, but it just looks right to me. That looks probably closest to how I like it. Anyway, and then once you're done, just hit F10. There you go, saved. So if I quit out this queue or whatever and type in HTOP, it should have saved your settings. There you go. That's how I get my information. Uh, no system trays, nothing, as you can see. So, what else can you do with HTOP? Well, the other thing is, of course, the nice and unnice, but, I mean, you don't need that on a desktop. This isn't system administration channel, so we're not doing that. But, what it does give you is a nice... So, if I open another window, it does give you a nice little... Um, names get gives you the PIDs so that's the process ID and names of the process as well so for example let's say we want to kill HTOP we could just do pkill HTOP and that should there you go just kills the process so say you're running Firefox pkill Firefox and you can get the name from uh, from here so as you can see of course I've got xterm and all this stuff htop you can see up there so I can just do pkill y3 pkill or you can do the old school way and um, you can do what is it how do I do this without killing the system well it doesn't really matter let's get the ID for htop hopefully it's not a long oh that's the other thing you can like, isolate things I think so if I can find there you go if you just move your thing down it just stops everything dead so 538 okay 538 so we'll do kill 538 there you go what else do you need honestly nothing that's it anyway hopefully that solved that issue for you if you've followed me and you've destroyed all your system trays the best way is to destroy your system trays and use HTOP. So I hope you learned something there. Um, you're probably not going to do what I do anyway because you think I'm insane, but that's just the way I do it. Trust me, less is more. Okay, fake YouTube, you ready for it? Like, comment, subscribe, get me to a billion subscriptions. I want 200 billion views. Yeah, that's never going to happen. Okay, uh, let's just end this now. It's painful. Painful. Okay. That's it. See you next time.